Children are part of the kingdom. Um, by pedo communion, I mean that when a child, when anyone is baptized, they become part of a new family. When a baby is baptized, he is taken out of an old family and taken into a new family. Uh, so in a sense, the parents need to give the child to the pastor and say, you know, farewell, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, and the, he's baptized, she or he or she is baptized and given back to the parents to be brought up. And uh, so as a member of the church, as a member of this new family, he's part, he's part of this new meal. He's given bread and wine as part of this new meal. He's not given bread and wine by mommy and daddy as mommy and daddy are now part of the church and so they give him bread and wine. No, he's part of the church and so he gets bread and wine as part of the church. Uh, he may be given it by mommy and daddy, but they are servants of the church, and that's their job. If they can't come this week, uh, he's given bread and wine by someone else who are members of the church. That's something that I think is not has been obscured in the Pado communion discussion. Uh, for a great many of us, our children are made members of the church, but they're still our children. But they're really the church's children. They're Jesus' children, and we're giving them bread and wine because we're Je Jesus' servants. And uh, I think if children grow up knowing that, then, then they know something different, uh, and that's important. Pedo communion amounts to a revolution because it means that the church is a new kingdom, a new family in history. Uh, is not an old family that's been adjusted a little bit. It's a totally new family.